Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get a custom dashboard on a tablet or a phone or an old phone you have lying around. All it needs is a screen that works and it just needs to just about work. So you could have the oldest of phones. You can even use your own phone and prop it up above your steering wheel on your desk. I'm going to use an iPad for this example so I can prop it down just next to my keyboard and I can have it display pretty much anything I want. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So how we're going to do it is we're going to get SimHub. SimHub here is an app that does so many different things. You can have custom lighting, you can have uh, air, fans, ambient lights, sound effects, different, all sorts of different stuff. But what we're looking for is the Dash Studio. SimHub, there's also a free version, but there's also a paid version. It is completely worth it. It's very low cost. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested. Really, really cool app. But here is the Dash, Dash Studio. So we're going to load up, let's say, what's a cool one? Here's an example of all the different dashboards you can have. Um, there is quite a lot. Um, let's use this one here looks really cool. I'm going to load this up. So we're going to load it up on a phone or tablet. And what you do then is you're going to get your tablet, go into a browser, scan the QR code, and then it's going to pop up. So here I have an iPad with quite an elaborate case orientation. So we scan it, gives us an IP address, open the IP address, and then I'm going to show you what I see here. So it brings you to SimHub. Now, it may be tough to see or whatever, but pretty much you can choose whatever dash you want once you have the IP address it's a local IP address so here is the dashboard I've decided to use it's a Ferrari 599 dashboard as we can see it is nice and synced up with the sim uh, no speed in the pits there is very very little delay it's incredible how little delay there is it's probably because it's all running locally and uh, yeah that's pretty much how you do it it's very simple if you didn't know about it I'd highly recommend, like up on this here, um, I'll pull over here, don't worry, we're in a test session, no one's going to get killed. But um, we have, there's a map, what positions you want, um, fuel, consumption, there's the time, the difference in the time, which is like your delta. You have a lot of cool stuff here, and you can, you can cycle between so many different kinds of dashes. Let me see if I just can swap out here. Uh, if we go back... I can run, let's say, a Ford GT one. Press full screen. Here we go. Rev it up. I can show you it has all the lights. Put it into first, second. Speedometer works fine. It's really, really cool stuff. So, if you didn't know that you could um, get a dashboard on your tablet, or your phone, or an old phone, or your phone, or a anything that has a screen, even a separate laptop. Now you know. So it's very simple to set up, really cool to set up. I'm going to put this iPad back now because it's not mine. And the owner must know I've never had it, my missus. So, yes, that's all well and good. But if you found this tip useful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're not already. And if you know any cool dashboards you can get because you can get mods for this, leave it down in the comment section below so other people can check them out. And, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Happy hunting.